Good morning, South Florida. I'm Eric Yatze. Here's a look at your top stories on this Thursday. A Pinecrest police officer is home from the hospital after she was shot during a training exercise. It happened at the Homestead Training Center near Southwest 117th Avenue and 304th Street. The Pinecrest Police Department said the officer was shot in the forearm by another officer. She was first taken to Baptist Health Homestead before being airlifted to Jackson South. The Florida Department of Law Enforcement will investigate that shooting. My wife is amazing. She's, she does that. She does so much for me and my family. She's selfless. Officers continue to search for the hit and run driver who left a woman in critical condition in Miramar. 26 year old Onexia Delanoy was with a running group on Saturday when she was struck while jogging along Miramar Parkway. She required emergency brain surgery and is now in a coma. The woman's family and Miramar police asking for the public's help. If you have any information on this hit and run, give Miramar police a call. A little girl is fighting for her life after being pulled from a pool in Aventura. Loved ones and the community gathering outside of Joe DiMaggio Children's Hospital in Hollywood on Wednesday night, praying for that two-year-old who is now on life support. On Saturday, Lainey Ezra fell into her pool and was under the water for several minutes. She remains in the hospital. And new moment showing the time a deputy in the Keys was hit by an alleged drunk driver. Dash cam video shows a Monroe County deputy escorting a detained man. The deputy walks to the back of his patrol car before deputies say 26-year-old Alexandra Baraga slammed her car into him. The 27-year-old deputy had serious injuries to his lower body, was taken to Jackson Memorial Hospital for surgery. Baraga was also taken to the hospital. That's where she was found to have a blood alcohol level four times the legal limit. As breaking news happens, we'll keep you covered on air and online. Head to local10.com for more local news coverage and updates.